We're with Michael McKay of McKay Sellers, September 16th. Michael's going to talk a little bit about 215. Hey, hey. Randy. How you doing? All right. Uh, 2015 vintage. Uh, uh, every vintage is always different. There's always different things that happen. Uh, it seems uh, that it doesn't seem. It is a fact that fruit has come in earlier this year. Uh, depending on vineyards and varietals, anywhere from two to three weeks earlier than we normally see. Uh, some actually on time. Uh, it just depends on how the vineyard was farmed, uh, water practices. Of course, we had a, a, a drought year. Uh, we had a, a warm winter this year, uh, which I think is a, is a big component of the vines not being able to go fully into dormancy. Uh, and with all that said, we're seeing that our uh, our yields are down somewhere between 20, 30, even 40 percent or more on particular vineyards. For us, for example, the uh, Tempranillo over in Lot 13, uh, we saw last year we got about 18 ton out of there. This year we didn't even make nine ton. Uh, it's been a, a fun year, uh, not uh, uh, a lot of fruit, which is something we definitely need to have after a couple big uh, yields in, the, in 14 and 15, or excuse me, 13 and 14. Uh, you know, you hear winemakers say it all the time, it's a great vintage. Well, honestly, 15's a great vintage. The quality is spectacular, smaller berries, more concentrated flavors. Uh, even being early in, in some fields, uh, what we've seen so far going uh, uh, into the barrel, we've got about four or five lots that we've actually put to bed in the barrel. Uh, very, very happy. I, I think there's a lot of potential for 2015. Uh, you're just not a... a, a Guy that's blowing smoke. This could be a good year across the board. It could be a good. I don't say better than average. I think it's better than average. I'll go on All record. Right. You know, you look at 11. Was 11 a great year? Yeah, probably not. Uh, but where 15 is right now, so far all the signs, uh, I think uh, 15 has all the potential right now to be a very special year. Well, what should people look for? Really special Zinfandels or Carignans or well, anything or everything? Randy, as you know, I'm a big Zin head, uh -huh. so we, uh, I think you absolutely look for the Zins, and uh -huh. I, I love the Rhone varietals. Uh -huh. And what we've seen so far, we have uh, two different Grenache vineyards that are already in the barrel, and the Senso, and. Uh, this and so from the Bechtel Vineyard, this is the third year working with that particular vineyard. And where I see it right now, it's my favorite vintage for the last three years. Great. Hey, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Randy.